The external application button extension allows you to run any external application with custom arguments from the browser toolbar or context menu, allowing you to send links, text and more such as images. So we start off by adding this to our browser. Upon adding this to our browser, we can then pin it to be viewable. When we go ahead and click this, we're then met with the option panel. So what we now need to do is set up the arguments that we wish to create. So as a demonstration, we are going to set two software um, up within this. So the first one is Firefox and you need to set the display name. So the display name is whatever you want it to be called. So we're going to call this one Firefox. We then need to set the execut uh, executable name. Now this is basically the file path to the file that you wish to open up. So for Firefox as a standard installation, we go ahead and add the following, which is on our C drive and then the program files. We then have to set the arguments that we want to pass across. Now what we want to do is we want to make the link that we currently have open in Chrome open inside Firefox. So to do that, we only have to send one argument, which is href. So we go ahead and write href inside the brackets. We then want this to showcase inside the toolbar. We can then also set a customized icon. So we're going to go ahead and choose an icon that we want. Um, we select Firefox. We then go ahead and add this application. You can see this is now on our list. We now want to go ahead and add a second version. So we go ahead and make sure that we select new here, and then we add Photoshop. We now go ahead and we grab the program file for Photoshop, which is obviously dependent on your system. We then go ahead, and now what we want to do in Photoshop is we want to pass an image from our browser that we're viewing directly into Photoshop to open as a file that we can then edit. So for this, we use the download path argument, as we see here. Again, we want this in the toolbar. We then want to use the Photoshop icon. Now these icons are taken from Icon Finder as the extension recommends, as they allow for small images to be uploaded and they're high quality official icons. Go ahead and add this application. Now we have both of our applications set, we can start using the extension. So before we use the extension, we need to install the native client. To do this, we simply try to use the extension for the first time. So we'll go to Google as an example to see if we can pass this over to Firefox. So when we go ahead and click this, it then asks us to download the native client. So what we go ahead and do is we click to download the package. It's looking for it and then you can see it's then gone ahead and downloaded that. Upon downloading the package, we then go ahead and open the zip. So we go ahead and, and drag and drop these files onto our local machine like so. Inside the here, we then all we do is double click and the install file. You can see this has correctly installed and everything is ready. After installing, you then check the connection. Perfect, we can see this is working. So if we go back to the Google tab and go ahead and click Firefox, you can see it now opens the Firefox browser with the same tab here. Let's try a different tab as an example. So we're going to write YouTube and we go ahead and go past this to Firefox and indeed we see this opens up YouTube. Next we're going to pass an image. So let's go to Google again and let's look for YouTube logo. Go to images. So if we go to the image address like so, right click here to choose between the different options. So we have Firefox or Photoshop. That's how you change between the functionality. So we click Photoshop, we're on the page. We now go ahead and click Photoshop and it automatically moves that image into our Photoshop software, opening up the software and putting the image inside.